Hey everyone, it's Slayride with a Y here, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past. Last time we started the sixth dungeon, and this time we are going to finish it. Well, we better finish it anyway, we're almost done. And uh, we have to go to that one big key room that I said was the boss door. But I don't think I'm going the right way. No, I'm not going the right way. Of course I'm not. When am I ever going the right way? I'll answer that. Never. I am never going the right way. I fail at directions. No, seriously. I fail at direct. Okay. I thought that door was not going to open. I was about to be angry. Game, you don't want to see me when I'm angry. Do you remember the Lost Woods? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better not make me angry. Now where am I going? I don't know. Do I ever know? Wait a second. Wait a second. I know where I am. I know that two bridge room. That's where we need to go. So let's go there. Hey, wow. Fail Wizro. Let's just walk into him instead of actually using my sword. That's what the enemies do. They use their bodies to kill you. Not their actual attacks. At least for me, anyway. Oh, it's another dark room. Whoa, and it's filled with fireballs. Ah, right, here we go. Now I get to show off the stupid fireballs. Let's show hey, look, our inventory is completely full. Anyway, Cane of Samaria, or Samaria, however you want to say it, actually creates blocks. And you can push these blocks onto the switches so you can, uh, you know, open doors and whatnot. And also, after you create a block, and it uses magic every time, you can use it again, and it'll shoot into four fireballs. Excuse me, I'm trying to lift this. For that, you'll be turned into a fairy. Come here. Ha ha ha! Give me your health. That's what I thought. I don't even think I have to go this way. I don't know what, what I'm doing. Yeah, we're nearing the end of the dungeon, and we're also taking damage. No big deal. Uh, I, I really don't like dark rooms. Like this is, wow, really game? All the way back here, huh? Well, if you say so. Yeah, the dark, dark places in this game just really annoy me. I really gotta get rid of this guy, don't I? Come here, dude. No. Oh, wow. Let's wait until he comes back. Actually, I can use my cane. No, not that cane. The other cane. And hit the switch. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Not entirely sure. Well, let's hope it's right. Where am I going? Ah, uh, here's a bomb wall. Let's take care of this guy first. Really, dude? Really? You're really gonna do that to me? Oh, oh, it's on now. I'll just keep taking the hits until I kill you. Where you at? Where you at? Die! I'm running out of magic. This is not good. Why do I keep getting stuck on the wall? We gotta lead this bomb. Oh, wait, never mind. It doesn't... Well, okay. We'll just do that. Oh, this is just a secret area? Well, that's lame. Secret area with death. Not cool game. I'm not entirely sure where to go now because I pushed the switch. It looks like I have to go all the way around. There's not even any lanterns to light this time. So that's quite annoying. Oh, hey, there's a door here. I didn't even see that. Yes, we were supposed to hit it. Okay, maybe not. Were we supposed to hit red? I don't know. Let's use our bombs so we can blow up the. Blow up ourselves! Gosh, Link, why are you so masochistic? Alright, we're gonna re release those anti fairies in here. Let's get one. I said. What the heck are those? I've never seen that before. I have never seen those ever before. I have no idea what those are. Whoa! Oh, 
I thought that was Mr. Hand coming for revenge from the third palace. Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Same shadow and everything. Whoa, whoa. Really? You're not supposed to have, like, homing in stuff. Uh, I don't remember what it was on. It was probably... You're supposed to put it on red, I think. These guys continuously fall, apparently. Yay, I was right for once. I'm so surprised. I have no magic left. Good thing we don't have to have the cane for the boss. But here's the boss door, obviously. And here's the boss. Yeah. This thing. Uh, he has some very strange name, but all he is is just a big eyeball with a bunch of smaller eyeballs, which are extremely easy to kill. Watch out for the lightning! Oh, that's too late. Whenever he lights up, uh, obviously you'll be wanting to dodge his lightning. Okay, maybe you can't dodge his lightning because it's very homing. No! Okay, good. Yeah, his lightning's kind of annoying. But, you know, it happens. What? Wow, really? This is pretty much the hardest part of the fight right here. It's really easy after you kill all of his eyeballs. Two more? Can't hookshot him. Come on, dude. Yeah, don't go in this evil swamp area because it's poisonous. Obviously, he gets faster the more eyeballs you kill. Just like lost my train of thought there. And now, once all the eyeballs are dead, he'll come out of his place and just bounce around. No joke. This is all he does. This is incredibly easy. Alright, why would they even have this form of the fight? Who would get hit here? And yes, I just said that, so I'm gonna get hit. No, I didn't. Well, another boss I didn't die to. How many bosses have I died to? What, the, just the first one? That's very surprising. But now there's only two heart containers that remain, and only one crystal remains. How exciting. Wait, wait, let me guess, it's a maiden? Oh, I'm right. That's another five dollars. Yeah, yeah, I keep... Keep talking about the Zelda crap. All the back backstory. Everyone knows the backstory of Zelda by now. I mean, sure, when this game first came out. Also, I apologize. Yeah, I know. I just cut myself off there. But I apologize for this green water. Because it, like, mixes up in the recording for some reason. I can't really do much about that. It's really annoying. You might be wondering where I'm going. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, there's a heart piece somewhere in here. Huh, <laughs> somewhere. I think you might have to go in here, maybe? No? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, okay. Is it this cave? I don't know. What do you want? Profitable story. Uh, no. I don't want to hear your crap. Let's just bomb your wall and get out of here. Explode faster. Okay, there we go. Ah, is this where the heart piece is? No, I'm not even close. I'm pretty sure it's in the light world, actually. And I might have to check. I don't know. I thought it was in the northeast corner of this area. Let's stand on this and use the uh, thingy. The thingy thing. Thing. You know, the light wall thingy? Yeah, that didn't work. Is there a heart piece anywhere around here? No, I, I really don't see one, actually. Oh, wow. That was very, very bad perspective right there. I thought I was going to jump way closer into the portal, but nope, that didn't happen. Uh, I think I'm going to cut and just look for it off screen and I'll tell you when I find it. So, be right back. Okay, guys. Yeah, I was right. It was over here. You're supposed to use your mirror right here. And then, all you have to do is just lift this up. Go down this hole and figure out a block puzzle that is so hard. That was incredibly hard. Now we only have two more pieces of heart left. Where could they be? Hmm, let's see. 
How many places do we have left to look? Well, there's not that many. The last area of the game, well, kind of, is right here. But I'm not going to go here yet, actually. I'm going to get hit by this boulder that's green for no reason. Still going to say that. I'm actually going to go back in the dark world. I don't know why I went right there, but oh well. Yeah, that's actually our next, de ne next destination. For, um, that's, that's where our next uh, palace is. Up there on Death Mountain. Obviously in the dark world. But yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, that's not really a hard dungeon either. Can be a little confusing. You might run out of magic, actually. So you might want to take a, take a uh, green potion. Or a blue, just in case. I might actually do that. I might buy one off screen, I don't know. Where is Link's house? Of course I went the wrong way. So, maybe I'll just meet you at Link's house? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back here at Link's house in the dark world. And he has something very special for us. A super bomb, I guess you could call it. And these things are extremely dangerous. You don't want to let this explode. We're going to take it to the pyramid, of course. The Pyramid of Awesomeness. That's where we're taking this thing. And you, just like the purple treasure chest, you can't dash or jump off stuff. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm not going to try it because I don't have enough rupees to buy another one. I don't want to go f rupee farming. I've already done that twice in this game. Let's play. Whatever. Are we going? Yes, that's what I thought. This bomb looks like it's going to explode. I don't like the look of that. Probably because it is. Eh, oh, okay, that almost hit me. And here we go. This is the awesome, awesome secret. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> wow, that was a huge explosion. That was pretty cool, actually. Uh, did you see that? It went three, and then it waited quite a long time and then went two and then one like immediately that was awesome anyways this place is absolutely awesome because guess what it's another wishing well but what can we upgrade you probably have no idea well believe it or not we can actually upgrade our sword yes indeed our last upgrade to the sword and uh, wow yes I dropped that you get the last upgrade to the sword. The golden sword. The power is throbbing in your hand. Oh, it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. That's why I wanted to uh, wait to go to Death Mountain for that. But now we'll go. Off to new places. With our golden sword in hand. Oh, it does four damage. Kills the orange knights in one hit. It's amazing. And we're going to go to Death Mountain. But, it looks like we're just about out of time. So I'm just going to fly over here and... I guess I will go to that warp. And then meet you next episode. Where more green boulders continue to fall on top of my head. Of my ugly yellow hat. Seriously, why is there a yellow hat with the blue mail? So annoying. At least it matches my golden sword of awesomeness. And I actually didn't know you could get the golden sword uh, before the seventh, before you complete the seventh dungeon until this playthrough. So that's pretty nice. All right, next time we will get to the seventh dungeon and maybe do some of it. We will also get the last two heart pieces, hopefully. See you next time, guys.